Uh, it's it's time for the next episode of of Nick the Rat uh, ra- Radio. Nick the Rat live from the sewer. Nick the Rat uh, Rat Free Radio. I'm not I'm not too sure what the hell. It, wow, it is raining out in this city tonight. Uh, let's listen to the Lunar Fest by Club 220 to, uh, to get things going. Let's get this started. Come on. idea though uh, uh lunar fest club 220 bringing it bringing it uh, to you on this monday it's now 6 11 uh monday in new york city i'm coming to you live from the sewer it's raining out today it's really like you didn't hear the thunder going on um uh, so yeah it was uh it was kind of cool day, a lot of rain and stuff. Oh man! I'm sorry. The sound of the rain is just hypnotizing me, which is kind of the point of today's episode. It's all about the the internal the internal processes of of living organisms and. And maybe we're searching for aliens in the wrong place. We shouldn't be looking up. We should be looking 
in... Isn't that, like, uh, poetic or something? I don't know. Um, we didn't get any phone calls in the past few days. This is horrible. I thought the, the phone line was going to be a big hit, and people from around the world were going to be calling in. But no. Nobody's calling in. Not one person. Are you going to talk to me or not? Oh! Who's that? Hello? Hi! Oh, it's Jack Nicholson, everybody. Jack Nicholson is live from the sewer. Hey. Hey, what's going on, man? So, are, are you ready to talk about the spiritual search within to search for the aliens to connect the dots to... Find out what's going on in the world? Who the hell is this? That's me. I'm Nick the Rat, and we're going to talk about this. What do you want to discuss now? Uh, My favorite color? Uh, well, that might be part of it. Maybe, like, why do you have a favorite color? Maybe um, that's that's like an, uh, an outside force. Maybe an alien beaming into your head and letting and letting you know that uh your your favorite color is blue like why why else would you like any color why why anything man if you think about it there's not much reason for much of nothing and maybe these outside forces are doing it to us but uh another outside force that's going to do it to us is is the one and only bit burner with with booby traps. This could all just be a big old booby trap if you think about it. Maybe maybe we're not safe. Maybe we need to be saved and we got to practice meditating. So, let's try to listen to this bit burner track called Booby Traps and let's meditate. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> Crazy to come.
Yes, this extraordinarily creepy station has been blasting beeps on shortwave radio almost non-stop since... Ni- uh, it's not true. I have not been blasting anything on any shortwave radios at all. Um, hey, hey Jack, do, do you like boobies? Absolutely. That's good, because who doesn't like boobies? That's right. Yeah, I know, I know, that's right. Uh, so, as I was saying, these, if we, if we meditate... We could, uh, it's really hard to do it. And it's because there's like a lot of noise, like uh, interference from the world, from outer space. Globally, there's just a lot of like vibrating going on. Uh, yeah, nothing is still. Every, everything is constantly vibrating and in motion. Um, maybe, maybe if we could slow down the vibrations with the meditations then we could get tuned in to an alien broadcast and talk to them and my existence while grotesque and incomprehensible to you saves lives Uh, wow jack you're really amped up today what the fuck did you just fucking coffee with cream and sweetener oh the sweetener's throwing you overboard i get it Uh, I wouldn't drink coffee before um, doing any meditation, but there's other stuff I would drink. Let me go uh, have a little sip of this right here. I usually don't do sponsorships this early in the show, but hey, this is my show. I can do what the hell I want. Uh, first sponsorship is Telemore Do. I, I decided that to have a better show, yet you need better alcohol. It's just a, uh, it's a fact of life. Ooh, I'll just be sipping on them. How about you? You want some, Jack? I'd be the luckiest guy alive if that did it for me. No, okay. what would do it for you? If you haven't gotten a blowjob, well, you're just letting the best in life pass you by. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the insight. Um, so yeah, we have a we have a phone line that nobody ever wants to call. It's nine one seven seven one nine fifty nine twenty three. I have some classic calls. I'm gonna play a classic one for you right now. This is I don't know who this was, but. It was, uh, it was an interesting call. Let's listen in. Hey, hey, Nick, this is Tommy fucking Tomato. What's going on, man? Yeah, listen, you're a fucking liar. I saw you buying all those uh, bananas and whatever with that other guy in the supermarket yesterday. Don't try to fucking lie. I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. I don't know why he said see you tomorrow. I don't even, I don't even know what the fuck the hell the <sighs> Well... Who out there meditates? It's really hard to do. Maybe this is why we're not getting in touch with the aliens. I have attempted meditation several times, but I can't not think. I'm constantly thinking. It's a real doozly kaboo. It's it's really hard. I'm going to blame you. What? For what? This is ridiculous. You can blame me for this being ridiculous? Obviously, you... You've never, never meditated. (sighs) But I'm sure, I'm sure SPCZ's meditated. You could tell by the name of their song called The First Mind. This, this should help us expand. Maybe we could contact the aliens today. Maybe if we all, all meditate together. And we could put out, like, a big meditation beam. We could contact them. We could do it, people. Here's the first mind. Start meditating. Are you meditating over there? Can I ask you a personal question? Sure, sure thing. What happened to your queer party friends? They 
Oh, you talk about Rainer. Uh, he's he's not around right now. Do you have any other questions for me? Well, yeah. Shut up. Meditate. Rogers. 
Oh, crap. I think I squeezed too hard. Uh. Damn. Well, that song helped me fucking meditate. It was called The First Mind. Or uh, The First Mind by SPCZ. They're a pretty good band. I like them. Um. There's not much news on the alien front that I was able to see. Some girl threw salt on ice and everybody in Ohio got scared and thought it was aliens. I don't... I don't know. Uh, what's wrong with you humans? There's something really wrong with you. Especially since nobody calls in my phone line. We had great calls. Like this one. Hey, yeah, um... I'm, I'm, I've been listening to your show, and uh, I don't, I don't really, uh, I don't really find any of this funny. Uh, are you going to actually talk about aliens or, or what? Because like the whole time I'm listening, it's just all this nonsense, and there's, there's no alien stuff. There's no facts. There's no information. Uh, give us something. I mean, really, it's just a pile of shit. I'm scraping you, man. I'm trying, trying to get to come together. That's your show. Ah. Maybe that guy was right. No. No, he's not right. I'm going to keep on this meditation thing. And we're going to get this done. You and me. Right? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I, uh, hey, Jack, uh, clench your butt cheeks. That helped me. I got in touch with Mr. Ro- Roger Ro- Roberts. Mr. Rod. Rod Schubert's? Mr. Rogers is doing that. Shut the hell up. Oh, okay, fine. Don't. Don't clutch your teeth. Uh, we got a phone call uh, coming in. See? Somebody's listening. Uh, hello, caller. You're, you're live. Caller? Call. Well, th- that was just rude. He hung up on me. Sure, everyone gets angry sometimes. That's that's right. I'm I'm kind of happy that uh oh wait the caller's calling back. Maybe now they'll talk. Uh, caller, you're you're live. Caller. Uh, call. Hello, caller. All right, now I'm just getting pranked. This is. This is bad. All right, fine. Exactly, Mr. Rogers. Well, I guess a prank call is better than no call. Anyway. No problem. Yeah, it's no problem. It's no problem. We're going to play another song now. To help. To help us get into the meditative state. Because, as I said... There's so much going on in our brains and body that we don't know what's what's happening, pretty much. And, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're creatures, we're beings, we're all, we're all alone, internally. Just like you feel alone as a society or a species on the, on the earth, well, within... You, you, you can't talk to anybody but yourself. You have to vibrate oxygen to talk to other people. It's it's pretty fucking weird, if you think about it. So, why maybe we uh, try vibrating other things? Like uh, Nomad 8 Infinity did with uh, his song. It's just a sick mix. It's sick. But this sick mix will, it'll get you in tune. Absolutely. That's right. Okay. Live! 
live, currently. I thought I told you one time I'll tell you 16 times Stop blasting that monkey bullshit up from the sewer You trampling my HS signal down in Mexico I can't get my slave labor coats made I can't get my signal down there because you trampling my motherfucking signal I can hear that shit coming up to my... Hello? Yes, hi. Hey, uh, so are you an alien now? There are no such things as real monsters. I didn't ask you that. question how about this one are there dinosaurs in heaven there aren't even any live dinosaurs anymore so almost what else in gucci versace d and g d or in juicy couture she likes louis baton chanel armani loren and she's mad for madden she likes fashion oh She died! Is she with you in heaven? Have you by any chance lost your cat? She died! You have her in heaven? Well, I have her. You son of a bitch! Say, strangle Mr. Rogers wherever he is in space or heaven or <sighs> we're gonna s- s- psychically strangle him well this changed from friendly alien contact to psychic strangling Brown. Better not be touching her. I have a short videotape of her doing that, and I'd like you to see it. <gasps> that son of a bitch. Well, that was uh, Nomad 8 Infinity with some sick music mix. Sick mix? 
That's a good. That was, that's, that's jamming out to that. That was uh, that was pretty good to to meditate too. Um, sorry, I was just meditating. Huh? All right. Well, we have actually. Wow, we got a new voicemail. Let's uh. Let's put it through the ringer. Here it is. Thank you, caller. Glad to hear that guy's still alive. He calls up like every week. I don't know how he's still... Uh, whoever's got him captive is... Uh, giving him... Keeping him alive, I guess. You know. Wow, this... This Telemore do is pretty good. It's got me feeling all... all I'm hungry. Oh. Okay, fine. Well, let's look at our second sponsor. Today... We've got uh, Ritz Ritz crackers with cheese. They say it's real cheese. Which kind of worries me. It doesn't say they're real crackers. <gasps> they should uh, rethink their marketing, perhaps. Um, yeah, so that's our second sponsor. Um, let's, uh, let's talk. Let's talk a little bit here. About, um, these aliens and this meditation thing, man, I'm telling you, we could, we could do this. That is a responsibility that we have to take pretty seriously. Yes, I know. Um, well, like, your brain is one of a kind, and it's, it's tuned in, it's got electricity flowing through it, and, um, the only stuff that could go through the vacuum of space is radiation so maybe we could radiate little nuggets of thoughts and tell the aliens what we're what thinking. if this is as good as it gets what? it's gonna get better as soon as we send these little nuggets of information up to the aliens I don't know and, oh, stop it stop interrupting me you're so mean ah uh, all right, let's, let's let's take this seriously. That is a responsibility that we have to take pretty seriously. Okay, okay. All right, clench your ass. <laughs> All right, we're gonna send this tasty little nugget straight to Mister Rogers, and he's gonna freaking treat my cat better. Can you find the cat? I'm gonna. All right, all right. Here we go. Everybody squeeze together. And let's squeeze listening to Live O Collateral. That might help us squeeze. I'm squeezing. I'm gonna save my cat. Squeeze! So be it.
gonna do it. You. 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 Are we clear? Yeah, let's squeeze. We don't have batteries inside of us that make us move and work. How about the make believe about musical instruments and pose? so hard that I got hungry. I started eating these Ritz. Yum. Okay, well, uh, me and Jack squeezed a lot and we sent a few, a few nuggets. A few nuggets went out there. Let's see. Let's see if anything, if it hits anything. I hope I hope not. We did squeeze a lot though. Uh, can you can you direct those towards heaven? Uh I don't know what you're smoking, Nick the Rat, but that shit's gotta be good. Uh let me tell you something. You can't talk to aliens using your brain waves. They're gonna they're gonna contact you through your television set. And all you gotta do is just sit there and watch TV. It's as easy as that, Nick the Rat. They're gonna beam themselves directly through your pupils. And then you'll have first contact just like that. So, you think this whole meditation thing was just crackpot idea? I don't know, man. Because the TV, that's still just admitting little radiation waves that go into you and then you process them. Uh huh. There's gotta be technology out there far beyond the radiation makers we have today. Um. I think we're the answer. We're. Where are the antennas and the machines of the future? We just don't know how to use ourselves yet. Uh, but, but this guy does. He knows how to use himself so well. His name is Artificial Music. And he's talking with you. Or, yeah. So let's play that so I could finish the rest of these writs off. We got to thank our sponsors somehow. And also that Tullamore do is looking good. Ah! Artificial music talking with you! Wow! 
Packers, Ritz Packers. I don't know if I can meditate anymore. I'm getting, I'm getting sleepy. I can't do this without you. You're right. You can't. But you might have to. Sweet dreams, son. Let's imagine some more about Lady Aberlin's wind research. What? Did you get my doo-doo that I sent you? Maybe Mr. Skunk has heard about Audrey Duck and her poem. I don't know, what are you just talking about? What do they teach you to talk like this? I don't know, where did they... I think he taught me to talk like this, and now... Who taught him? Meditate on Larry. He sounds like he needs it more than we need aliens. Whoa. Yeah, I don't, I don't I don't understand these giant radio antennas we build. They cost a lot of money and scientifically speaking, the speed of light it's gonna take way too long to make any contact. This is all... They're making all these... These telescopes and these satellite dishes. That's just a spy on us. We don't see it, though, because we think they're trying to contact aliens. When all you have to do is meditate, everybody. It's gonna happen. That rain sounds so nice. That's... Let's all just... Let's just listen to it for a second. And... Meditate. Think about... Spaceships. How they're shaped like... Lights. Little flying saucers. Out... In... Space. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Well, hey, you! I wasn't... Meditating for you. You're mean. Did any of it hurt? Yeah. That part when you said you had my dead cat and you had a videotape of him doing naughty things to you and... Even though some people like to get dressed up in costumes to look like them. Uh... I don't know what's wrong with you. You're all... You're all a little messed up in the head, aren't you? Can you go to the potty by yourself now? I just... Did I, me and Jack, we sent you a pile of crap. It was good. You ever served in an infantry unit? No. No, I have not. Uh, I really wish I had more news for you guys this week, but there's really... There was nothing. I looked. I, I looked up and down. And then I tried to look within, and I found part of the answer, but... 
It's not a big enough answer. So, wait a second. I think we got another phone call. Wow. These things are just rolling in now. Let me uh, play. Let me play this other phone call. By the way, you could call in at any time. 917-719-5923. It works better than meditation. Too bad we don't have an alien's phone number. But if you could find one and tweet it to me, uh, I'll give him a call. All right. Uh, here, let's listen to here. Let's let's listen here. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm calling because uh, I uh, I listen to your show a lot, and uh, I think I'm possibly possessed by a demon or something. Um. Yeah, could you call me that? Thanks. Ooh, okay, De- demons. Uh, I didn't know the show was going to get that dark that quick. Uh, I never really discussed demons before. We talked about aliens and Bigfoot and the government and stuff like that. But, but demonology... Why can we do that? Is that something you do? Absolutely. Oh, you're all into the demonology? Might not be in a manner of speaking the American way. But it's in the manner of speaking something, right? Is there another kind? Uh, I think that's the question. I'll answer the question. You will? If you haven't gotten a blowjob from a superior officer, well, you're just letting the best in life pass you by. I have no idea what you're trying to say to me. Luckily, I have got a lot of great music for you folk today. Another Cyber SDF joint. I think I played uh, that group once before. They got a lot of good stuff. This one's a uh, Darling. Darling. Hello, darling. Let's listen in. I'll answer the question. Are we clear? Well, if a doctor has to give you a shot, sometimes that's I'd rather you just said doesn't. thank you and went on your way. That's right. Get out of here, Roger. Fucking people. Did you hear how she said that her mom and dad didn't love each other anymore? Son of a bitch! I don't give a damn! Hey, take the rat. Uh, I think you could teleport me up on that one. Teleport, dude. It sounds good. Find the kitchen. Come over here. Hey, hey, Rainer. I said you could teleport. Telemore, do not me. Why am I in your spaceship? Shorts 
stack. And you people are supposed to be sensitive and sharp? Yeah, uh, Nick the Rat is definitely not sensible or sharp or none of the above. Uh, uh, let me tell him, teleport him, not tell him about wow, this tasty brew. Alright, let me send him back on down to the sewer. He is, he is, he shouldn't be up here. He chews on wires and shit. I'm gonna crash my spaceship. Thank you. Thank you for sending me back into the sewer. You best. You bastard. Uh, so, that was... That was Darling. That was D- Darling by Cyber SDF. Wow. That's a good song. I dug it. It was good. So, what am I? It definitely put the, me in the mood to... Meditate. So does this rainstorm. Wow, it's coming up on the 7 o'clock hour in New York City. Uh, it's Monday, March 14th, 2016. Wow, it's it's almost 2020. We're getting there, people. We're going to keep on chugging into the future. Uh, let's check out breaking news. Let's do a, a live newscast for everybody right now. Maybe they got some aliens on there. Breaking news is... It's a good source. Stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, we got Chicago Bears. That's not really cool. Uh, response teams. And riots. That's... Why are there riots happening? We got an airstrike. Uh, we got... Rallies, we got... Ooh, a tornado's coming. That's usually when the aliens send the dragons with the woo-woo, and then they make tornadoes. That's how you know they're around. Uh, one's going to be in Phillipsburg, Ohio. Ooh, 105 miles per hour. I hope you guys have your windows closed. Uh, let's see, we got New Jersey... Something with casinos. Syrian president denies reports of differences with Russia. Kim Jong says Korea to conduct nuclear warhead test missile soon. <gasps> They're gonna wind up nuking themselves. Uh, there's no Obama. Blah blah blah. There's breaking news. That doesn't wait. We could search topics. Let's put an alien and see what they got to say. Maybe they know about the the alien and the concentrating, meditating thing, man. No, it's not. Nothing's com- nothing's coming up for that. This is horrible. They really need more more of that stuff. Just like I need more. Phone calls, which I got one. I got another one. Wow. Let me open up this box and play that button. Um, yeah, it's me again. Uh, oh, God. I don't know why I even bother. I mean, every single time I turn on this fucking radio show, you're doing something stupid. Now you're taking a shit on the air? Are you fucking mental? I thought you were going to talk about aliens. I mean, maybe we should live without it? the wise pathetic. Man, that guy could... I'm gonna float him a turd. Psychic turds. Let's do this. Jack. Jack, are you ready? <clears throat> oh, it sounds like he... Oh, he actually, just popped one out. There it goes. Yeah, I hope that guy gets one. Can you make another one? Squeeze. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, there we go. Oh, another psychic turd for you, motherfucker. Shh. <sighs> This is proof that I play every freaking phone call that I get, so you should call in at 917-719-5923. Well, that whole new segment was pretty depressing, but I know Cyber SDF is never depressing. So let's play Solar Flux by Cyber SDF. I 
would rather you just said thank you and went on your way. Thank you. I did my job, I do it again. You what? You're like my cyber shit machine. My cyber psychic shit player. My hoo doodler do. I would rather you just said thank you and went on your way. You're a poo doodler. A psychic poodler. A psychic shit cannon. I beg your pardon. Wow, you're good at this. How do you keep sending out those psychic turds? Send me some fucking courtesy. Uh, here's some courtesy. Who's gonna do it? Not you? Me. No, it's already... You're the proven... You're the proven pooflinger over here. Absolutely. That's right. This is ridiculous. Say something now. Sure. You did a lot of work for me tonight. You have that luxury. I know. You were a great guest, Jack Nicholson. That's right. I couldn't do this without you. by Cyber SDF. Rocking it. Rocking it. That was a great one. Uh, let's try some more of this Tullamore do. Well, this show is officially went out the pooper. Uh, I can't I can't read the news to you. It's all depressing bullcrap about stuff and numbers. We attempted to psychically get in contact with aliens. And we just got shit all over. It was pretty impressive. I think we drowned uh, Mr. Rogers. He's not coming back. I don't know, he's a little smudge. And uh, Jack Nicholson was great. He was really good. I've never seen a woman that age naked before. That's... That's exactly what I thought you were going to say. I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself... You don't have to. Just send one more turd out there for me. Send this one to Rainer. Just don't... <clears throat> oh, there it goes. I hope Rainer gets that shit. I'm going to kill you, Nick the Rat, man. This show is turning into a turd-flinging, crap-tossing, no alien exposing. Ah, oh, man. What are we going to do with you? You're lucky that you got a 
couple people called in at least. At 917-719-5923. If you want to talk about turds or yoga, give us a call. We're here. A superior officer. Uh, I guess I am Nick the Rat's superior officer. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing no more. He's crazy. Uh, well, anyway. As, hey. Oh, there's a shit on my window. Was that you guys again? I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna play a song now because Nick the Rat can sit on an egg. He's sending turds out all over. But I heard this song earlier and I really dug it. So I, I want to put this one on the old squeeze box right here. This one's called the Remix Safety Guide by Rokabako. Get me the president on the phone. You realize that I work at home. Well, I work all the time. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> If you are wearing headphones, remember to plug them in, so otherwise no sound will be heard. Also remember that excessive wearing of headphones can cause bald spots and can potentially ruin an expensive head. No! <laughs> Come on, Jack. Enjoy the music. Sit back. And relax. When you have completed your remix. Do not play to close family or friends. This prevents them from potential attacks of embarrassment or possible vomiting. Instead, upload it online where complete strangers can do this in the privacy of their own homes. is a naturally occurring psychoacoustic phenomenon oh. simply adding more will only make your vocalist sound like a cheap Julio and Blazers. This should be avoided at all costs. Wow. I'm out of body. Love Shadow. Spiritual. Spiritual being. Maybe I could talk to the aliens then. podcast mp3 on your speakers but 
I'm actually just in your head. Uh, and that's like being in direct contact with a, an alien. Uh, another, another being of intelligence that exists in the same realm as you. If you think about it, we never really have a really meaningful communication between anybody. All you could do is bounce off some light and some some air and vibrate it into their ears, but I have a direct spiritual link with you right now. Also, the sounds of the sewer are with us, too. But let me fly out of the sewer. Let me just get out of here and go past the sewer. And then we're going to go past the rain. And we're going to go past this, the stream of water floating around in the sky. And now it's just me. Me and you. I'm in your head. And I'm like an alien. I'm a little talking cartoon rat for crying out loud. If that's not alien, I, I don't know what, what the hell you guys are expecting to see when we finally make uh, more contact than we are right now. But anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you give me a call so I could talk to you from inside your head again. And all that good stuff. Uh, enjoy your th- the Monday or whenever your listen is. Uh, oh, wow. We didn't get past the clouds. Let's get Let's get, uh, let's get into the clouds. Let's go into that thunder cloud. It's, it seems nice. Thunder? Thunder cloud? gone. Everything's gone. Isn't silence great? You can meditate to that. But instead, I'll leave you with one more song called Butt Rickle Acid by Sofa Music. I remember them. Here's a good song for everyone to listen to. Have a good meditation, everybody. Hello? Hey. Who the hell is this? All right, fine. Well, certainly. No! Did you ever watch people using real heavy equipment? Well, I submit to you that whoever wrote that memo has never faced the working end of a Soviet-made Cuban AK-47 assault rifle. I wonder if fish laugh or cry. You can't be at least mildly interesting and shut the hell up. For Christ's sake, I'm going to blame you. I come from hell. My grandmother's got more attitude than you. What would you tell Lady Elaine if you were talking with her right now? people I've never seen a woman that age naked before maybe we could live without the wisecracks I'm dying here well if that's true I'm really in trouble Jack 
Mickelson's type. You can see a lot of stuff in there. If you're gonna give me hope, you gotta do better than you're doing. I'll give you hope. You said you could help me. I'm trying to. I'm looking for the bad stuff. Get it out. And piss in your dead skull! You fucked with the wrong Marine! Nah, I'm not, I'm not fucking with you, man. I'm trying to help. I'm gonna rip the eyes out of your head and piss in your dead skull! I said help. I don't give a damn! I did my job, I do it again. You were great. You're great. Alright, Jack, you're an awesome man. Shut the hell up. Why are you so mean? Let me get this. Let me get this part out. You snotty little bastard. Alright, let me get this part out. You want answers? Let me get this part out. Finally, this part that we were all waiting for. You can't handle the truth. And that's why I'm now stuck in your head. Ah, Sorry, everybody. I'll be here for a little while. You gotta do yoga and meditate. Enjoy the silence.